To see what happens in the ground during an earthquake, let's look at this diagram of the surface of the earth and some of the ground beneath it. The red line shows the location of a fault. If the ground moves slowly, the material on either side of the fault may be bent. The more it bends, the greater the strain along the fault. In this diagram, we'll remove the ground on one side of the fault. As the bending continues, at some place underground, the strain becomes so great that slipping starts. Once started, the built-up strain is released and the slipping spreads. We'll stop the action to see just what is happening. Notice that where slipping has taken place, the land on either side of the fault is no longer bent. The two sides have come to rest in a new position. The sudden shifting and slipping is the earthquake. Near the fault, this movement can cause damage to buildings. The sudden movement also causes vibrations to travel out in all directions. These vibrations are called seismic waves. Near their source, Seismic waves may also be strong enough to cause heavy damage, but they become weaker as they travel outward. 